It's here, the brand new series, American Automotive. All right, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, here are our series rewards. We have the Cadillac CT4V, which I think looks pretty cool and probably performs very well. And the classic F-150 OBS. Love that truck. Then we have some cars over here on the right. Now, I don't know if we're going to get all those. I know the C8 is there, the Z06, but let's check it out. Here is our first week, and there is the Corvette, the first reward car. That is awesome. I bet that thing is very, very spicy. Uh, we also have the 64 Belvedere, which... Actually, it looks really cool. I like that. Moving on to the weekly challenge, we have Mustang Madness. We're going to be owning and driving the 65 Ford Mustang GT Coupe. Okay, we'll hold on to that for just a second. I came in and I saw this, and there wasn't a challenge, and I was like, uh-oh. So, American Automotive, own and drive any American vehicle. I just kind of loaded in with this Singer. I guess it's American. I don't know. I didn't even drive it yet, and it gave it to me, so... <laughs> They're really, uh, they're really quick on that one. All right, so let's get into this weekly challenge here. The 65 Mustang. All right, 65. So where, where ye be? Okay, we have an S1882. I guess a drag car. I don't know. So the first thing we must do is own and drive. There we go. Launching hard. Chapter two. Flying muscle. Both with thumping V8s. The Mustangs have never been short on power. Let's put that. Well, I don't know how much how true that is. There have been some anemic ones. But anyway, let's put that muscle to good use and earn six stars at Danger Signs and the blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we go. Look at this thing. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, so I kind of made a drag car out of this. I don't even know if it's my tune. It's definitely not my livery. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, give him some uh, apology honks. Okay, so we're going to go out here. I'm going to go off this one. I, ha I expect to not get three stars, but we're going to try. All right. It's only right to, whoops, launch this thing. You guys ready? Actually, we're going to really launch it. There we go. Already up to fifth, sixth. Got to love Forza. I didn't know you could crash into people. I thought we ghosted out. But I ran right into that Bronco. Watch out, guys. I'm doing stuff. Okay. Whoa. And it slowed down. Does it always do that? I can't remember. Holy crap. That was a jump. 1681. I think we got three stars there. We did. Ooh, we can do that one again. Okay. So I'm going to send it back this way. We'll make it. How does it handle? Here's here's a question I have. How do the cars with really good tires slide off the track? Ooh. But this guy has drag tires, and he's just killing it in dirt, dust, sand. All right, here we go. We're ready and up for jump number two. This thing maxes out where this road cuts off here, so. This is where we started from last time. I'm trying to repeat my... Results, you know, look at that. Oh, this car is so much fun. I'm glad it's the weekly challenge car because I never use it anymore. Already in top gear. We were going about 225, somehow losing the internet again. There we go. Sixteen eleven is still good, and that should be our chapter two. All right, chapter three: waking the neighbors. You can really get your elbows out with the Mustang's aggressive curve. Show your opponents who's boss by winning a street race. Okay, so we can use either this sixty-five or the twenty eighteen Ford Mustang GT. Uh, let's go entertain the thought. And go look and see what our 2018 Ford Mustang GT. So we got one there. I'm just going to use this. Okay. So we know where to go. It's Ruta Norte time. I really encourage you guys, if you want to be successful at this game, kind of find your best races and keep hitting them up. Because they're always wanting you to do something. They're always wanting you to hit a street race. 
a road race, a dirt race. Pick your favorite, become really good at it, and then you can just kick some butt. All right, I need to change my outfit because I am currently Mexican automotive. So we'll get that here in a second. We are on drag tires, yes, I know. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna let the launch control do its thing. Still, an insane launch. I love that you can actually make drag cars in this game. How did I get up here so fast? Because I have no turning. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so I took the inside. That was a bold move, Cotton, but um, definitely a mistake. I love seeing the drift cars racing. That's like, I think I've talked about this before. Oh, I am on ice. This is terrible. I think I've talked about this before when Gran Turismo 2 came out. All the way back when I was a kid. Um, one of my favorite things to do was take the rally cars and put really sticky road race tires on them. And let me tell you, I didn't change anything. Oh my gosh, thanks. Why? Why is he just stopping in front of me? Yeah, I should not have taken this thing. <laughs> so anyway, back to the rally cars with road tires. Uh, I didn't change any other settings. You know, you think the suspension would need change. Nope. They were just amazing. So it's kind of the same thing if you had these Formula Drift cars and you just set them up a little bit better, you know, for road racing. I'm sure they would make amazing, amazing machines. They're basically purpose-built race cars. You know, gutted, roll cage, high horsepower. Forza has an easy system where you can just slap race suspension on. I should do that sometime. I should make a beast out of something. I think I've tried before, but it's just, it's kind of hard with Forza's physics. You know, these drag tires are great off-road, but you just slide in the road race. I know. I know. Oh my gosh, why did I do this to myself? I know I'm winning, but man, at what cost? Wow, that thing pulls really strong at the end there. <laughs> oh my. I don't recommend that. I don't recommend the drag car for, for racing. It's, uh, it's not good. All right, come on. Chapter three. Four. That's right. Eye candy. Chisel good looks both old and new. Turning up in a Mustang is bound to turn heads. Take a photo. Oh my gosh. Okay. Smash. Smash the photo button. Get out of here. Easy weekly challenge this week, guys. Glad I got to take my drag car for a spin. Now, moving on. We've already done the daily. It was super easy. Uh, let's talk about what we have left. Go into the shop. Okay. We have a Hennessy. American company Venom GT for 2012. We have some USA gloves, the Running Man, and a Challenger RT. So load up on that stuff if you don't have it. You don't know when it'll be here again. And moving on, we have Horizon Arcade mini games. Complete any Horizon Arcade theme. I don't know why they keep saying complete. You just have to start one, and it usually gives you credit. The trial, same way. Sometimes it'll say you can't play it again because of the Hall of Fame or whatever. You can. Just jump in. This week, we have Cars and Stripes. So, Mustang versus Camaro. Very American. I love it. GT Deny. We've had uh, Event Labs from him or her a bunch. And here he is with another one. Crop Circle Stadium Rally. A dedicated rally cross event. A custom mixed surface track. Blah, blah. Okay, cool. Big ramps. I saw that. And then this one, I've never seen or can't say. Vague, vague City. I'm going to go with that. The Wild West Street. Race against your friends in the infamous city of Angels along the West Coast. But taking it, purely taking advantage of Event Lab 2.0. Two times gravity. What? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's an L. Velk City. Okay. I don't know if that changes much. Here we go with our PR stunts. Now this is going to be a separate video. We're going to do a couple more things today. Tomorrow we're going to have the trial. And then Saturday is going to be PR stunts. Two more of those will be in the expansions. We have a seasonal championship here and here. Cool. Photo challenge. Let's get into that right now. Photograph the 2018 Camaro ZL1 1L in a street race. And we're going to get Spake short sleeve shirt. Okay. 
whole bunch of I really don't care, but whatever. Let's go to Chevy. Let's get the correct freaking package. ZL11LE. What even year are they talking about? Is it this one? No, it's this one. Oh my gosh. You got to get the ZL1 with the 1LE package sometimes. All right, so we need to photograph this, but it needs to be a street race. We know where one is. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So you got to jump into a race. I recommend not finishing it. I really do. Because we're just here to get this picture. We're not here to do anything else. Make sure you pick the correct car. You don't want to load up and wait for the wrong thing. I've been there. All right. So as soon as we start, I'm on PC. Sometimes if you take uh, pictures in races, it likes to crash. It's... So that would that would be terrible if that happened to us and couldn't do the photo challenge. All right. So I'm going to spam the photography button. Finally, I tell you what, we're going to do a classic thing. Oh, no, don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. It's OK. Come on, load. All right. So we're back. Um, that did crash my game. So I recommend being in the 2018 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 1LE in a street race, but do it on your Xbox because I used to get all of the cars in the game that way. It was an easy way to just jump in and take a picture of a bunch of them, especially at the start of the game to get your Horizon promo up. Um, but yeah, for some reason it crashes on PC. So I'm not going to try that again. Uh, like I said, I'll take care of that on my Xbox later. Oh, we do have collectibles. Cool. All right, so moving on to that, we need to smash six of these <laughs> American footballs near El Estadio Horizon. So we'll do that. We have our monthly rivals, and, of course, here are our PR stunts. So the only thing we have left, the treasure hunt, nothing like that, is collectibles. Okay, so tomorrow it also says to visit the stadium, but we're going to do that right now. The oval track should be back. I'm just going to fast travel to something around here. And for this, I will try my steering wheel. We'll stay in this 1LE. Get some nice... Oh, I just saw one. Dang it. All right, so we got to be out here. Okay. So there's one. There's two. Three. We have to get six. I don't know why it's not ten. They just picked the weirdest number, huh? I do like it, though. That's fun. Oh, no. Oh, right into the golf carts. Finally, there we go. All right, so a little lackluster on the finish there, especially with not being able to complete the photo challenge. And also, I guess it's to start with the daily challenge already being completed. But here is a little introduction to the American Automotive Series. Now, as a sneak peek, let's go ahead and look forward at the next couple tabs here. So we have Autumn. We're going to be getting that Firebird that was pictured here. Okay, makes sense. We have a Nova. I don't know if that's already in the game or not. Not a big Chevy guy. Okay, finally, we do see the Lucid Air that is 1,234 horsepower and a sub 2 seconds, 0 to 60. We got the Pontiac GTO as well. And then finally, we do pick up that Lincoln Continental in a different color, uh, but we get a Rossian Q1. I don't know what that is, but that's cool. And I'm looking at the weekly challenges here real quick. And it looks like they're double duty, you know, all through there. And I'm, I'm kind of sad. I feel bad for you Chevy guys because there's three Ford weekly challenges with double Fords in each one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's sinister. Anyway, I swear I didn't have a hand in it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will be back tomorrow with the trial. And hopefully we'll have some good teammates in that one. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.